Brooklyn, otherwise known as the Dramatic Otaku, and welcome to the sequel to my mushroom hat video. Or at least that is what it's supposed to be until my mum's cat got into a fight. You see, the wonderful red mushroom hat and even the blue mushroom hat that I made in my previous video since making that video has just been sitting in my sewing room for a long while since I really haven't had the motivation to cosplay my mushroom girl since that video. Then when I did eventually uh, have the motivation to start re-cosplaying my mushroom girl for a video, I noticed that the hat both of them uh, had been crushed because my cats had decided to make them into pseudo cat bed. Elevation plus something to squish apparently makes great cat beds. So the sequel to my previous video was supposed to be me fixing said hats, particularly the red one since that one is my favourite of the two, and maybe recycling or redoing the blue one. But then my mum's cat decided she would get into a fight and got injured, leading to both my cats needing to be housebound for a while. And so I decided, seeing as they would be housebound, I would make the wonderful little cat who got attacked <laughs> a new cat bed so that hopefully I could replace my mushroom hat for said cat bed and thus a mushroom cat bed idea was born. At least that was until I noticed I did not have any red fabric whatsoever for a mushroom. I did in that previous video, you know, sew together all of the red fabric that was in my house. What I did however have was a lot of leftover or scrap fleece from uh, a lot of my commissions from my Etsy stores, because I make a lot of cloaks, I have so much scrap fabric that I cannot use to make more cloaks. Seeing as the fleece is plush enough, is in a wide variety of colours that sadly isn't red, but is still a wide variety of colours, I decided that I would use that fabric and create this toxic mushroom or monster themed mushroom cat bed instead. This cat bed is completely made out of s recycled or scrap material and uses the likes of fleece, polyester stuffing uh, used from old pillows, as well as a standard sewing machine and thread with hot glue used as an adhesive for the spots on the end and a measuring tape which I would highly recommend because I didn't really measure this out until halfway through the process. To begin, which I failed to film, you want to take two squares of fabric and cut them to make your the shape of your cat bed desire. Mine was a little bit oblong, but I tried to make it a circle in the same fashion you would make a circle skirt, just not cutting out the um, waistband. With the cat bed shape made into two panels, what you want to do is pin these panels good sides together. This is the side that your cat is going to sit on. Then sew around the edge, making sure that you leave a space slightly larger than your fist so that you can turn the bed inside out and later stuff the cat bed. But before we get to that step, what you are going to do is then trim the excess around the bed before flipping the bed inside out then making sure to press all the edges so it doesn't become distorted. I would recommend doing this with an iron, but since my fabric is prone to melting with extreme heat, I instead want to press it with my hands because I do not have a block press. This was not very effective. <laughs> then take a tape measure, measure and mark a small circle inside of the fabric or a smaller shape, depending on what shape you want to make the cat bed, preferably on the bottom side of the bed where the cat will not be sitting. Then back to the sewing machine, we sew around this circle or shape, leaving another open space for the stuffing to get to the inside. Make sure this is on the same side as the original hole you made in the bed. Then taking whatever stuffing you have, I'm personally reusing old stuffing from pillows that my mom wanted to get rid of, stuff the middle portion of the bed. Make sure this isn't super full when you stuff it or it'll be difficult to sew closed, which is what you want to do next. After stuffing the middle of the bed, take the bed to your sewing machine once more and time to close the middle circle. Only the middle. <laughs> 
then stuffing the rest of the bed as much as you can before hand stitching it close. Personally, I use a ladder and whip stitch mix because the ladder stitch looks nicer, whereas the whip stitch is more secure when I make a mistake doing the ladder stitch. Last of all is making the bed into a mushroom type pattern by taking the scraps of fabric from your preferred color, then cutting them into various shapes and sizes, hot gluing or stitching them to the outer rim of the bed so it will be more comfy for your cat that way. And after cooling the glue, voila! You have a comfy cat bed that looks mushroomified. Now mine turned out a bit oblong since I didn't measurement and the cat I sewed this for wasn't the biggest fan because she just likes having the entire bed to herself or giant surfaces to herself but maple my cat loved it in the end and it's very up her alley she's weird and wonderful just like this funky little cat bed so i hope you guys enjoyed this video personally if you want to make this better i would suggest actually cutting out the patches and sewing them directly to the fabric before sewing the bed but I was really depressed the day that I made the cat bed, so I just wanted to hot glue it and be done with it. It's super easy and simple. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! For those wondering, no, she did not in fact like the cat bed. She's still sitting in the fucking mushroom. All of this effort, and she still uses the goddamn hat. <laughs>